Hello, how are you? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and today I am doing the update to Team Project Pan. Uh, this is created by Kat and Hayley. Um, they are the girls that originally used to do beauty news. I don't know if they're going to go back to it or not. I miss it. I won't lie. I always enjoyed their commentary on new releases, but you know, everybody has to do what suits them. Um, it is, I'm personally doing 22 in 22 in this. So, um, I've been working my way up to 22 products and once I hit that number I haven't been rolling anything else new in. If it's a thing I hit 10 and below I will keep it at 10. I'll roll something in to keep it at 10 if you know what I mean. Uh, but at the moment I don't think I'm rolling anything new in today. I am rolling some stuff out though. There are some empties. Um, you can do a quarterly reflesh. Re reflesh. I don't think anybody wants to reflash today. No, that doesn't sound nice. Maybe that's for Nightmare Pan and Street. That might be it. Uh, refresh. Uh, but this has been a real project for me where I have more or less full size items and they came in brand new at the start of the year and I want to use them to completion. Uh, other projects, like for example Nightmare Pan and Street, I'm kind of doing more uh, usage goals to kind of rotate through my collection. So, onwards. So the first item that's been in it since the start, that's I feel naked. I miss my scarves, but it's too warm. I'm like, oh, I can't breathe. I'm like, but I want a scarf. I miss my scarves. Uh, this is the beauty jar Monomore. Monomore. Practicing my French at the moment. Anna Sophia, don't watch this. Um, I'm trying to improve my French before we head off to France. Uh, peony and seaweed extract natural shower gel. Um, she done. She all gone. Empty. Bye bye. It was okay. I wouldn't repurchase it. Uh, it's one of those brands that's kind of greenwashed. You know, the packaging looks all like um, like corrugated cardboard kind of and stuff like that. But then it's all plastic inside anyway, so kind of defeats the purpose. But I, I'm I was easily led when I bought that, but it's done. Uh, I used it in total 25 times to use it to completion, so that's my shower gel done. Uh, next up is my body lotion. Now this is starting to slow down, I won't lie, because as the weather gets warmer, this is a very thick, it's a, it's a body butter, and I prefer these kind of products in the winter, so I have a feeling this is gonna slow down considerably throughout the summer months. Uh, spring summer and um, I'll probably pick up pace again. Sorry, I'm distracted because I've closed in the line and now it looks like it's going to rain. But sure, there you go. That always the way. Um, what was I saying? Yes, very thick. Uh, takes a while to sink in and in warmer months I'm not as inclined towards that. So I have a feeling I'll just be using it maybe on the lower legs just kind of, you know, uh, kind of knee down kind of area and on the feet and maybe back in like October, November, December I'll really tear into it. Anyway, all of that is to say that is where we are now at here in May. So I've used this much so far but like you can see, like look what a difference. Now granted March was in here somewhere, I didn't do an update in March. Um, But really slowed down the pace here between April and May. But you know, again, it's going surely, when's the race eventually? doesn't but you know what I mean uh, next up is my um, Olaplex number no. 7 bonding oil I don't like this it was a waste of money in my opinion I am using it in a multitude of ways at the moment I mix it in with a hair mask that I have an Olaplex hair mask that I have in the that's expensive project pan and um, I'll put it in after I've washed my hair. I'll put it on days like today where I just want to, you know, make the hair look less dry, but it doesn't do that. Just not a good product in my opinion, guys. Um, I have used 11.69 of it so far. Now that's grounds because I'm obviously using a weighing scales. Um, and I have used it 31 times. So that is it there. Again, another slow and steady one. Uh, next up is another empty. This is the Liqueura Healthy Glow Rose Toner, Moisturising and Calming Toner with Hyaluronic Acid, Rose and Elderflower. Um, there it is there. And I have... Let me see it. Probably not the light. Um, it's empty. All gone. Um, it was fine. I'm not a fan of Rose Scents. I should never have purchased it. 
Um, but I used it up and it was fine. Um, they had another one of these that I did like, not necessarily the glycolic one. To be honest, there's one from number seven that I like that I might try and get again. They often do like 750 off skincare vouchers and I might pick it up then. It's just a very basic, I like a very basic uh, toner in the morning. I keep my actives for at night. Um, so I, I just use it to kind of just go over the face once before I start in with my skincare. Um, but it's done, so yay. Hurrah! How many uses did I get on that? I got 97 uses in total. Uh, next up is my face moisturizer and it is another empty. Look at me go. Uh, this is Liqueur as well, which is the Aldi home brand as was the toner. Um, and it is done. It was fine. It wasn't my favorite. It was a tiny bit left at the end there. It's, um, how to get it? It was like, it's like a gel moisturizer, I suppose you'd call it. But what I noticed with this, and this is my second time having this now, there's probably two years between them, but it was fine on my face. But the oddest thing was, as the day would go on, like say you might be watching telly and just kind of rub your neck, and it would be pilling on my neck. And I'd have had nothing else on it, not even SPF, because I would have been one of those days where I'd be inside and not going out. I actually only use my SPF. I don't use this moisturizer. Um days that I'm using my SPF but yeah it was peculiar so I wouldn't repurchase it again if, even if I saw it in, in Aldi I know it's, it's cheap enough and it was okay but I have others that I prefer um, but it's done yay another one back to the dust ding 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 this one will not be biting the dust anytime soon this is the blush or the revolution ultra blush palette in the shade or colorway sugar and spice and this is what we are looking like guys do you know what though i'm using it i have 39 uses on it so far this year uh 0.39 grams oh look at that 39 uses 0.39 grams um so it's getting way more use than it's ever gotten in its life prior to being put into this project my goal on this is to hit pan in each shade if at all possible and if that does it's getting decluttered at the end of the year either way but i'd love to really have it showing some love it's starting it's on the turn you can definitely smell that more crayon kind of smell on it but it's not my skin isn't bothered by it at all um i'm definitely seeing some rings in in some of the pans which i'm pleased about um but yeah it's, it's slow moving but blushes and look at what did i expect putting six blushes into a project who do i think i am cat i'm not cat but anyway I'm giving it a go guys I'm giving it a go and I'm happy about that and I'm proud that I'm making a bit of headway on it um, and I'm enjoying using it I have to say I'm really enjoying using it and uh, next up is my highlighter and that is the Becca highlighter in the shade opal and this has come along nicely as well and uh, now that the weather like I said has picked up a bit and I'm not wearing scarves anymore I'm you know using it kind of here a lot because it's a bit dark for me it's not the best shade for my my face at the moment now maybe as the um summer rolls in i'll have a little bit of a color on my face not much because i don't go out in the sun much to be honest i'm not a big sun lover i think i get okay this is sound weird but i know it's not completely weird because my friend actually said that she feels the same i do you know the way some people get seasonal depression like they get is it sad and uh, usually it's in the winter months and sometimes they get you know sun lamps and stuff like that and um, that kind of helps them get through you know the winter months I feel like I have the opposite I get I find that I get more depressed in the summertime I I'm not a massive fan of the heat especially here in Ireland it tends to be quite a humid sticky heat there's loads of flies everywhere I have to wear less clothes which I'm not comfortable with not less clothes you know what I mean but like you know there's more and I'm a big I'm a big girl and I'm not too happy about being a big girl but there's not a lot I can do about it with my health um so that bothers me so I, I think I genuinely think and my friend said the same she her spirit always picks up like the end of September when it starts to cool down and you get some crisper days and stuff like that does anyone else feel like that or am I a total weirdo I think we all know what the answer to that is anywho back to this wow 
pushies off on their dungeons, just as well most people like them. Uh, I've used 0.36 grams and I've used it 12 times. I did use a little bit of it, I mixed a small bit of it in with a body lotion. I liked it, I didn't love it. I don't know if that's the way forward for me, but I, I'll try... I'll try again and see how I get on. I didn't want to scrape it all in in case I didn't like it because that would be an awful waste. Uh, so I say 12 uses, 0.36 grams. Okay, moving on. Lip liner. I'm making good progress with this, I feel. Uh, this is the Millie Macintosh uh, lip liner. And I've used it 20 times to date. Uh, that is 0.49 grams of product. Lovely shade, kind of a peachy. I'm finding I'm reaching for it more and more now at this time of year um, because it's a lovely kind of peachy kind of nude. And it's lovely all over the lip with a little lip gloss top on top. So, um, yeah, 20 uses. I'm happy with that. That's, that's coming along nicely. My lip product. Guys, I'm devastated. Genuinely upset about it. I had used it 47 times. And I lost it. I don't know where it's gone. It was the lip, uh, the El Frider Dye Lip Balm in Tough Cookie. Actually, no, I think I do know where it went. I was at a horse show with my niece and my sister. Uh, they were competing in a, uh, an event. And I had it in my pocket that day. And I thought, I was hoping maybe it fell out of my pocket in the car, but I went through the car and it's not there. And I checked... Um, my sister's car as well just in case because i'd sat in for a minute but no it wasn't there either so i have a feeling i lost it at the showgrounds uh which is such a bit because i was thoroughly enjoying it and because the weather is warming up it was getting a bit more malleable you could kind of use it a bit more easily so i'm disappointed but it's gone guys she gone uh, i won't repurchase it at the moment because i actually have a what one is this this is in it's time for glasses guys just peachy um so i might see about working this on this in the summertime um anyway so we'll see but yeah disappointed uh next up is my eyeliner that is my nyx uh pencil in um oh i can't look it's in brown i'm not going through the whole slide on jog on good luck to your name that is on it no just it's a brown lip liner guys no it's not it's a brown eyeliner uh, I've used it 48 times and I've used 1.1 grams of product so I'm really thrilled with that. So it's just your basic brown pencil um, eyeliner and I use a tight line in and in the waterline and I've been enjoying using it and I use it nearly every day in most looks and my nose is so itchy all of a sudden. Um, you see that's the other thing as well, allergies as well at this time of year are horrendous so maybe. Okay Ruth, you get it. I'm moving on. Uh, setting spray. This is the... Uh, XX Revolution Freeze Fix and I'm actually quite enjoying this. I didn't think I would because it, it's quite heavily scented but that doesn't seem to be bothering me. Not very heavily scented, it's scented. Um, but I'm down to there on it which is phenomenal use for me. I've used it 48 times, 58.81 uh, grams of product and I've really noticed that it's hard to judge longevity because I'm not working at the moment. If I was working, I'd be better able to answer that. But I definitely enjoy how my makeup looks after I've sprayed it. Um, it seems to give my skin a kind of a juiciness or something. I don't know. I mm, might be one of the XX Revolution products that I actually like. I know. Who saw that coming? Not me, that's for sure. Because I haven't liked much of their stuff. Um... But yeah, so that'll be staying in, but we're, we're getting great progress in that. I'm delighted with that. Uh, next up is my shampoo, and that is um, the Alpha Parf Milano. I don't know. Uh, nutritive Low Shampoo. I don't know what that means. For, look, at it, it's for dry hair, and by God do I have dry hair. And I'm using it at the moment. I've slowed down on my uses. I've only 17 uses on it in total. I had 12 last month, so that's only five more uses but I've been doing what why can't I remember your first name I'm so sorry the girl from the style tumbler I love her what's her first I'm so sorry Jesus my head is like as if today I apologize um and she had said to mix my purple shampoo and purple conditioner in with my regular shampoo and regular conditioner because I was finding I need the purple shampoo to brighten up my hair but it's definitely drying my hair out and I was only using it once a week but even still so I'm trying this now where I mix the two together and I'm not going through it as fast that 
long way to say that. Um, so it is down to 65.81. I've used 19.6 grams. Yeah, I think so. Since last month. Anywho, it's still in. There isn't much left. I think it'll be done by next month. Wow, Rook, you were really on point today, girl. Well done. Well done. Um, next empty is the Pantene Pro V 3 Minute Miracle Repair and Protect. Uh, this is my conditioner that I use when I'm washing my hair. And um, I still have another one in my shades of green. Um, not this specific one, the one that has green on it, Hobbs. Um, but yeah, so this is done. Um, I used it nine times to completion. It already had use, obviously, when it came in. I didn't just like nine uses and it was gone. Uh, next up is another empty. I did really good this month, guys. I'm really pleased with myself. Uh, this is the Liqueur Super Booster Vitamin C Serum. This is a peculiar product because it says serum, but it looked like a lotion. Um, I don't know if you can see it there. It's like a white lotion. Very peculiar. Um, but it is all done. I got my spatula in there and got as much as I could out. Uh, the pipette did not managed to get all the product out I had to you know manually go in and get it out but it's done uh, I got 33 uses out of that one and then last but by no means least is my absolute favorite. you're my favorite you are my favorite I love you this is the Cosrx advanced um snail 96 mucin power essence and I adore it and I don't care oh the wind is picking up I don't care that you know about snails I'm sorry they are out there, I can hear them, can you hear them? They're out there savaging my garden at the moment, savaging it. I won't put down pellets because I don't want to do that to them. And plus if a bird or that picks it up, then it poisons the bird as well. So I won't do that. So I go out every day and manually pick up those little feckers and bring them across the road to the soccer pitch. Shut up, whatever. Okay, it is what it is. I'm, I don't want to hear it. So I don't care that, I don't care. My skin loves it. They're lucky I'm not French and I'm not eating them. All right, they're lucky. Um, not all French people eat snails. Just so. Oh, Ruth. Anyway, I have used this up to here. Let's move along before we offend a whole country that you're about to go on holiday to. Um, I've used it 42 times. I adore it. I use three pumps every time I use it. I don't care that that might be excessive because my skin loves it loves it it just oh, just loves it just i don't know what more to say loves it that'll forever be a repurchase for me i love it did i say that i love it nearly as much as i love pharmacy green clean i went there i said it um but that is it for my update so what have i left i have one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh shit. <laughs> Have I only nine products left? Oh Ruth. Oh Ruth. Remember remember it started to say ten. I'm going look it, I'm gonna do it. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna bring in this. I'm gonna bring in this and give it a go. Oh my god, Ruth, you absolute idiot. Uh, count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. Never said I was the sharpest tool in the shed, lad. Never, I never said it. I never once claimed. I'm looking around kind of going, did I forget something now? No, I don't think it is. Oh, rope. <laughs> okay, this is coming in. And we're going to use it over the summer months and see how we get on with it. Already it feels a bit softer than the um, tough cookie one did. Maybe because it was a tough cookie. That's why it was so tough. No. Um... So yeah, we're going to give this a go. I'll give it a little swatchy swatch. It smells gorgeous. <laughs> what are you getting out, Ruth? Oh, I'm such a freaking idiot. Um, so you can see, oh, can you see maybe? Maybe you can't. A little bit there. It's a, quite a peachy kind of. Obviously, because it says just peachy on it. Wasn't going to be purple, was it, Ruth? No. Um... Oh yeah, on the smells, it has that kind of um, sugared peach sweet kind of, mm, yum. So that is coming in. 
unexpectedly into this project. I shall wait after this and um, see how we're doing with it. Wow, this is all over the place. I do apologise. Very tired. Nothing new there. Hope you're all having a wonderful day. Wonderful day. And um, hopefully I'll chat to you in the next one, guys. Take care. Bye. Sloan. I apologise. <laughs>